Hello, my name is Bernard Egger and I'm introducing today Three Shapes Clear Liner Studio software. Okay, let's start the workflow with the first step of creating a model base. Three points will determine the occlusal plane in a line drawn from the interproximal of the maxillary essentials towards the mid suture will then create the sagittal plane. Then you define the extension of the maxillary and the mandibular scan and the software will add a virtual base. Now let's have a closer look at the ortho control panel. I will explain the functionality of the new features. You can now define constraints per tooth in regards of inclination, angulation, rotation, left and right movement, extrusion, and forward and backward movements. These movements can then be fine-tuned by defining their constraints per aligner. The control panel has also another new feature for an automated placement of attachments. You select the attachment and determine then the movement conditions for an automated placement. A click on the first column, Movement Type, defines the values you wish to use. Again, six different movements can be selected. We can create rules for an automated placement. Size, height and position can be determined and the blue grid box on the right side allows the user to visualize and control these settings. Communication is always key in any kind of analysis and this software allows you to customize your report. You select or choose a new name for your report and you select then from screenshots, calculations, teeth movements you wish to communicate and of course very important the areas where IPR, interproximal reduction, was performed. Okay, we did all necessary preparation. Let's start the clear liner workflow. This is a very intuitive workflow which will guide you through the segmentation of the teeth you wish to move. Selecting the distal and mesial end of each tooth enables the software to detect the marginal line and cut each tooth. Make sure that you double check all those lines and in case uh, you have to, you can edit them and correct them. A click on next will then initialize the segmentation. Critical zones are always the interproximal areas which should be controlled. You can uh, use uh, different tools to sculpt and fine-tune uh, those areas if you wish or have to. We still have to apply the same process on our mandibular arch. We start again with uh, selecting uh, the distal and the mesial end for each tooth. Once you've finished with this uh, process, again the software will automatically detect the marginal line. You want to double check this one as well. If you click on next, you will be guided through the sculpting uh, process. And finally, you want to double check the long axis for each individual tooth and probably correct it if necessary. The feature Ideal Arch is a very effective 
tool to create a reference uh, for your virtual setup. If you activate uh, Symmetric, it becomes a very efficient and fast uh, workflow where you achieve a symmetrical art form for your maxillary and mandibular arch. You can even mirror the opposing arch and then shape and form your reference accordingly. I always like to work with reference planes for my virtual setup. They provide a grid which creates a great contrast and allow me to perform very precise tooth movements. Now let's have a look at the automated stripping or and the proximal reduction. If you click on uh, a single tooth, the software will display the values for each tooth of uh, the necessary interproximal reduction. The procedure is very easy. You select the tooth and then set the values for your mesial and distal interproximal reduction. My favorite feature is the automated aligner calculation. If you click on subdivide setups, you have three different options you can choose from. You just manually uh, determine the amount of sub setups, or you choose to uh, create your own values for translation and rotation per aligner. But certainly the best way to do it is to refer to biological uh, constraints and select the pre-aligner constraints. So how does automated attachment placement work? If you select the tooth, the software will check whether the rules that you set up in the control panel apply for the movements uh, that you performed on uh, this tooth during your virtual setup. And it will suggest then uh, the selected type of attachment. You can still modify uh, this attachment in its position if necessary. The setup and staging timeline is an icon that opens a new window which displays the teeth movements and their distribution over the amount of aligners. This feature allows you a very detailed look at teeth movements you select the tooth and the software will display all individual movements over the course of the treatment. Initially, the distribution of tooth movements is determined by the tooth which needs the most aligners to be moved into its desired position. Clicking on Optimize Movements may reduce the amount of aligners in one arch significantly. Basically, Optimize Movements uh, means to the software complete movements as quick as possible. Waypoints show you the relationship between the ideal setup and the amount of aligners. They allow a user to select a specific aligner to delay or start a movement. This can be necessary in a situation where you have, uh, for example, crowding and rotation. You want to create space first and then rotate the tooth. This may, however, leave not enough aligners to perform the full movement of the tooth. The check of a possible violation of the per aligner constraints will show you if you have to add more aligners. Our last feature is the automated ID tag functionality. Once you exported the setups for manufacturing, 
you can choose to add ID tags on each model stage. Select from a menu the information you want to print with the model, such as name, sub setup count, and more. You can move each tag into its desired position. I hope you enjoyed this tour through the Three Shape Clearliner Studio software. Thanks for watching.